नमस्ते एंड वेलकम एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ पोएम वेयर द माइंड इज विदाउट फेयर बाय रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर लेट्स फर्स्ट रीड द पोएम where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls where words come out from the depth of truth where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit where the mind is led forward by the into ever widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake so this is the poem let's read it again where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls where words come out from the depth of truth where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit where the mind is led forward by the into ever widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake so this is the poem where the mind is without fear by rabindranath tagore it is poem number 35 of gitanjali gitanjali is a collection of poems by rabindranath tagore Tagore received the Nobel Prize for Literature largely for the English translation of Gitanjali called Song Offerings. Tagore himself translated some of his Bengali works including this one into English while considerably simplifying them. The original collection of poems was published in 1910. while the english translation was published in 1912 this poem has been written in one single sentence the poem is written in free verse the language is simplified and metaphor and personification has been used in various parts of the poem the poem is the poet's prayer to the almighty seeking his guidance and support to help the countrymen attain freedom the poet expresses his love for his country and speaks about the vision he has for india and its people through his poem he gives us an idea about the kind of life people were living during the british rule the stringent rules economic and political uncertainty were some of the factors that caused fear in the minds of indians 
they could not live a dignified and respectful life in their own country. Obtaining proper education was not easy for various classes of the society, causing illiteracy among people and making them believe in superstitions. The British used the divide and rule policy against the Indians to make them fight among themselves. So there was a discrimination based on caste, creed, race and religion. Rabindranath Tagore is one of the greatest poets of India. He has composed various poems, stories, essays, novels, dramas and songs. The poem, Where the Mind is Without Fear, was written during the period when India was struggling for freedom from the British rule. It was a part of Gitanjali, a compilation of all his poems. In this poem, Rabindranath Tagore expresses his love for his country and prays to the Almighty for its well-being. In his prayer, the poet says that his countrymen should not live in fear anymore and must do away with the evils of society. They must live with respect, dignity, honesty and perfection. He prays to God for the freedom of his beloved nation. It was during this struggle for independence, the poet says that he envisions, envisions a country where there is no fear in the minds of people and education is attained by all. The people are enlightened and do not create walls of discrimination. He wants his countrymen to be honest and thoughtful. He prays to God seeking his guidance for attaining independence and awakening of his countrymen into that beautiful heaven of freedom. He envisages a country where the people live without any kind of fear or oppression and hold their head high with pride, dignity and self-reliance. He also says that knowledge should be attained without any restriction and there should be no discrimination based on caste, creed, race or religion. India must reach towards its goal of attaining freedom and being an ideal nation. The countrymen must possess noble thoughts and do away with all the superstitious beliefs that defy logic and reason. The poet prays to God seeking his support and guidance for his countrymen to have noble thoughts and actions. He asked God to awaken them into this heaven like place of an independent nation.
almost half a century before India attained independence, Tagore here yearns for the heaven of freedom. The verse continues to exhort people, particularly in conflict zones across the world, to seek fearless truth and to stand up and see the world as one, undivided by borders or narrow domestic walls. So the poem is not meant for India alone because it concerns all the countries which were under an oppressive rule and it talks about freedom for all such countries. This poem is one of Rabindranath uh, Tagore's vastly read and discussed poem. It was originally composed in Bengali and later he himself translated it into English. This poem, Where the Mind is Without Fear, is from his Nobel Prize winning anthology of poems called Gitanjali. Tagore lived during the time when India was ruled by the British. In this poem, besides political freedom from British, Tagore also appeals to God for social, educational and economic freedom for the people of India. Tagore lived during the time when India was ruled by the British. And in this poem, besides political freedom from the British, Tagore also appeals to God for social, educational, and economic freedom for the people of India. Social, educational, and economic freedom. Let's read the poem again. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by thee into ever-widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country away. There is no fixed rhyme scheme in the poem because it's written in a free verse format and uh, it is poem number 35 of Gitanjali, a collection of poems by Ravindranath Tagore and Tagore received the Nobel Prize for Literature largely for the English translation of Gitanjali called Song Offerings. The original collection of poems was published in 1910, while the English translation was published in 1912. So this poem, Where the Mind is Without Fear, is poem number 35 of Gitanjali. And what is Gitanjali? Gitanjali is a collection of poems by Ravindranath Tagore, which was published in 1910. And its English translation was published in 1912.
Tagore himself translated some of his Bengali works, including this one, into English while considerably simplifying them. So, and the poem has been written in one simple sentence, and the poem is written in free verse. There is no rhyme scheme here. The language is simplified, and metaphor and personification has been used in various parts of the poem. And the poem is the poet's prayer to the Almighty, seeking his guidance and support to help the countrymen attain freedom. The poet expresses his love for his country and speaks about the vision he has for India and its people. Through his poem, he gives us an idea about the kind of life people were living during the British rule. The stringent rules, economic and political uncertainty were some of the factors that caused fear in the minds of Indians. They could not live a dignified and respectful life in their own country. Obtaining a prop proper education was not easy for various classes of the society, causing illiteracy among people and making them believe in superstitions. The British used the divide and rule policy against the Indians to make them fight among themselves. So there was discrimination based on caste, creed, race and religion. In this poem, Rabindranath Tagore expresses his love for his country and prays to the Almighty for its well-being. In this uh, Hines prayer, the poet says that his countrymen should not live in fear anymore and must do away with all the evils of society. They must live with respect, dignity, honesty and perfection. He prays to God for the freedom of his beloved nation. The poet says that he envisions a country where there is no fear in the minds of people and education is attained by all. The people are enlightened and do not create walls of discrimination. He wants his countrymen to be honest and thoughtful. He prays to God seeking his guidance for attaining in independence and awakening his countrymen into that beautiful heaven of freedom. He envisages a country where the people live without any kind of fear or oppression and hold their head high with pride, dignity and self-reliance. He also says that knowledge should be attained without any restriction and there should be no discrimination based on caste, creed, race or religion. India must reach towards its goal of attaining freedom and being an ideal nation. The countrymen must possess noble thoughts and do away with all the superstitious beliefs that defy logic and reason. The poet prays to God seeking his support and guidance for his countrymen to have noble thoughts and actions. He asks God to awaken them into this heaven-like place of an independent nation. Almost half a century before India attained independence, Tagore here yearns for the heaven of freedom. The verse continues to exhort people, particularly in conflict zones across the world, to seek fearless truth and to stand up and see the world as one, undivided by borders or narrow domestic walls. So, Rabindranath Tagore, who was the author of Gitanjali, became the first non-European to win the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913. And this poem, where the mind is without fear, is one of his vastly read and discussed poem. It was originally composed in Bengali and later 
he himself translated it into English. This poem is from his Nobel Prize winning anthology Gitanjali. Tagore lived during the time when India was ruled by the British. And in this poem, besides political freedom from British, Tagore also appeals to God for social, educational and economic freedom for the people of India. Thank you.